Hey guys, this is Jeremy Mateo with Plugin Boutique, and today we're going to be taking a look at Radio from Plugin Boutique. This is a really cool little plugin. It basically allows you to open URLs, or you can use this giant list that it comes with, and you can actually listen to live radio and actually grab and sample things from it. Now this uses buffer and streaming, so it basically uses your internet connection in order to grab live radio and actually just highlight the selections that you want. You can actually save them, and then it saves down here. So if I turn this on... Oh, this is 20 days we've had in here, isn't it? Yes, 20 days. You, you can see that I'm actually listening to some old-time crime radio. But they never really knew me. I can even turn on the effects to make it sound like old school radio. It was at a kid's party. After playing person's not. Which is really cool. I personally really like it. Of course, you can expand the uh, GUIs to make it look nice and cool. And again, you just have a bunch of little sections where you can just grab, like I play this. If we just see a couple of things right here, this is literally just a bunch of samples. I went to a different radio station and grabbed like long snippets and I just chopped them up and changed their, their timing, stretched them. These are all just stuff that I found on the radio. And uh, let's just see what this sounds like. All I did is grab them, reverse them, change their, uh, their tempo, and then just chop them up. Now, if we do the drums, I've heavily time aligned these. And then you can see that I've chopped them up, reversed it, and rearranged it. Now for this, this is more of a like orchestral thing. And then we have this nice little drum tempo thing if I just solo this up. So what I've done is I've actually chopped that up and I found a nice little section where it fits the timeline and I've used Studio One's little uh, arrangement tool to detect and bend markers and I've made it fit a four bar loop and I've just kind of looped it around. And then along with everything else, it makes a really weird, crazy noise. But pretty cool, right? All I did was go to three different stations, found three different sounds that I thought sounded totally different and did not fit. And I mix and match them and I managed to find something that sounds pretty cool. This is really easy to do and it can work in any DAW. Now, a really great thing is it saves all your samples into little clips and stuff. So you can go back and save them and play them whenever you want. Um, overall, this thing uses pretty much no CPU and it's really, really cool. I love the effects and I'm loving the huge list of uh, directories you can get. But also remember that you can open URLs and even select a random one. That's it for today's video. This is Jeremy Mateo with Plugin Boutique and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.